Scientists in India have discovered a new species of tardigrade that protects itself from extreme doses of UV radiation with a blue glowing protective shield. Here is what they found. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are among the most resilient animals in the world and are considered by many to be the cutest invertebrates. They are nearly translucent and average about half a millimeter in length. They lumber around on eight stubby legs located under their bodies. Studies show they can use a unique form of hibernation to cope with temperatures from as cold as absolute zero to above boiling, live at pressures six times greater than those at the bottom of the deepest ocean, and withstand dehydration for a decade. They can survive extreme radiation and live in space. Now, researchers in India have found that at least one species of tardigrade has another trick up its sleeve. Writing in the journal Biology Letters, scientists at the Indian Institute of Science describe how they discovered a new species of tardigrade on a moss-covered concrete wall at the institute. The scientists found that when they exposed this species called Paramacrobiotis BLR strain and other species H. exemplaris to 15 minutes of germicidal levels of UV exposure, Paramacrobiotis survived. H. exemplaris did not. When treated with a dose four times as strong, 60% went on to live for 30 more days. In fact, the reddish-brown species glowed bright blue. The scientists found that it did this by using a protective fluorescent shield that absorbs the damaging ultraviolet radiation and emits it back out as harmless blue light. The researchers then created an extract from the new species and covered the UV-sensitive tardigrades, H. exemplaris, and the fluorescent substance. This gave them a level of protection from UV radiation, with around half the H. exemplaris tardigrades still alive after a few days of exposure to a dose that should have been lethal. In their paper, the team from the Indian Institute of Science explained the new species has probably evolved this fluorescence mechanism to counter the high ultraviolet radiation of tropical southern India, where the UV index can reach up to 10. Did you know that there might even be tardigrades on the moon? Earth's most indestructible organisms have crashed into the moon and may still be alive. CNN reports that thousands of micro-creatures called tardigrades were on board Israel's Beersheet spacecraft when it crash-landed on the moon in April. According to the BBC, tardigrades are about a millimeter long with eight legs, claws, and a sucker-like pharynx to spear prey. They are more commonly known as water bears or moss piglets. CNN reports that they live in water or in plants like lichen or moss, can withstand being heated to 150 degrees Celsius, and frozen to almost absolute zero. The nonprofit Arch Mission Foundation dehydrated the water bears, which caused the organisms to enter a state of suspended animation where metabolism lowers to 0.01% of their normal rate. They were then encased in amber and loaded onto the bear sheet, along with a 30 million page archive of human history called the Lunar Library. Since the tardigrades are resilient, researchers say it's likely they survived the crash, but they will need to be reintroduced to water in order to reanimate. Until then, guess the little buggers will just be chilling out on the moon. Though if something else gets them first, it could just be a sci-fi horror movie come to life. A new species of water bear has been discovered in, of all places, a Japanese car park. Writing in the journal PLOS1, scientists designated the new species of tardigrade as Macrobiotis shonaicus. After the initial fighting in Japan, researchers were unable to identify which type of tardigrade it was. Reportedly, 20 new species are found annually. They bear resemblance to some other species of tardigrade, but the new species is noted for its unique eggs. These have lengthy tentacles and a solid exterior. Researchers also noted the creature's mouth, which has three circular layers of teeth. The research was carried out by scientists in Japan and Poland. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.